Hey, what's up there, guys? Corey here with the Android Community, and uh, we have a brand new app for Twitter to show everyone today. Um, in our ongoing quest to find the perfect Twitter client for Android, um, we've tried tons of them. I mean, Carbon, Falcon Pro, Tweet Lanes, and the stock Twitter client. Don't even want to go there. Um, Carbon's pretty decent. Needs a little work. I mean, there's tons of tons of Twitter clients available, but Robird right here is a brand new app that was recently released. Um, it's fairly new to the market. It's got a Holo style um, theme in general, Holo um, inspired user interface. Everything's, you know, similar to what we're used to. And uh, I'm actually kind of digging it. It is not free, which is kind of a downer, but uh, it's got a really simple layout. It has um, tweet longer support. It's got a tweet marker sync. It's got autocomplete features. It has push notifications. So, I mean, those are just right off the bat. A couple of those things that are, are essential for a Twitter client. Um, Multiple user accounts is coming, a tablet UI is coming. Um, they've updated twice this week alone, so Robert and the developers are definitely, uh, you know, they're definitely, you know, planning to make this an amazing app for uh, for Android. So you, you tap anything in the, uh, you know, in the feed there, and obviously you have this little pop-up here. You can share the tweet, you can on, in, instantly retweet it and reply and star. And um, then also if you just tap the actual, uh, you know, avatar, you can get right into uh, the information. There's our Android community there. But uh, just a, a quick look here. They have tons of themes. They have a decent, a decent amount of settings. Um, it's pretty quick and fluid. Um, then they have you know the the pull to uh, the pull to refresh that we're all used to. But and as you can see up there, there's a 19. That's how many uh, unread tweets I have at the moment. And they have all the pictures and all that good stuff. If there's anything good in here. Just kind of scroll through. Don't want to share my whole uh, life right there for you. But then you, you click your user and you can come in here and see how many tweets you've sent and what you've retweeted and all that good stuff as usual. So um, it's pretty standard in that sense. But as you can see, I mean, it's smooth, it's fluid, and it runs pretty good. So definitely liking that. And then obviously just one click, you can instantly hit to start a new tweet. Um, this could use maybe a little bit of work. It's kind of small. I'd like it to maybe be a little bigger, but if you start you know, typing. Obviously, as you can see there, you've got your little suggestions there for who you're going to be sending it to. Obviously, I mean, see, there's a few things where they still need a little bit of work, but in general, it's still, I mean, it's got the, uh, the autocomplete feature and things like that. So it's, it's still a work in progress. Um, it's only been available for a few weeks, but it's definitely getting there and will be a pretty awesome app um, for Twitter. You go into settings here, and uh, here's another thing that makes it pretty impressive. Obviously, um, we're hoping for more features to come, but themes, you come in here, they have a light and a dark theme. I personally use the dark themes on everything, especially with an AMOLED display here. Um, highlight links and names, you can get rid of that if you'd like. Tweet marker, then tweet longer. I know everyone likes tweet long longer. Photo hosting, there's tons of options for the photo hosting. Um, and obviously you can come in here to change the, uh, the tweet font size so you can have more or less in your feed. Um, you know, pretty easy, pretty standard. Then username, font size. If you don't want those usernames taking up as much space, you can change that as well. Mentions, direct notifications, notification sounds. Um, there isn't a setting to change the actual refresh time. Um, it's not, also not going to, you know, alert you and notify you when you have new, you know, new tweets in general. But it does have push notifications, so you'll instantly get those when you get a, uh, you know, tweeted at or a direct message. And it's it's actually been faster than the standard Twitter app for me occasionally um, for some odd reason, if not about the same time. But uh, so, yeah, definitely the autocomplete features and the themes and the, the custom, you know, settings, all that combined with, you know, the option for push notifications really makes this a pretty good Twitter uh, client. I'm definitely a fan. So it's not bad. Definitely not bad. Um, it could could use a little bit of work when you right here when you hit you know to retweet it's native or quote um, it's it's a little bit too many buttons to have to retweet someone's story, um, but uh, then if you push and hold, you get into like this little conversation list. So if you're in a conversation with someone, you get that whole detailed list um, from Robert. But for now, they're expecting tons more um, and updates um, coming soon. So it's available now in the Google Play Store. It is not free. But it's pretty impressive. I figured I'd do a video so you could actually see it, uh, you know, in action. See if it's something you would be interested in. A little, oh, let's see what Daniel Tosh had to do today. I mean, there's the uh, full screen uh, images. 
which works pretty good as you can see it's definitely fast with the photos and then you can instantly save the photos as well so there it is robird brand new twitter client available for android thanks for watching guys